Okay, so for the exponential function or question, uh, it's based on the Expedia entry for the exponential growth. And the basic uh, exponential function is assume there is a starting point of the population uh, with the growth rate R and the growth is uh, cumulative. So basically it's like a compound growth. Basically. So we have a, a one of R and there is a power to the tth power and t is basically the time of generation. And this uh, just looks like a drawback basically. So this so the question is actually to implement this in R. And <coughs> so yeah, you first we first need to write a, a function for exponential growth. And this function should have uh, three parameters. Uh, remember in R the function uh, this is a keyword to define the R function, and the input, all the input parameters are between the space parenthesis, and the function is defined by curly. So uh, left curly and right curly should uh, be a pair. So inside, we basically write the, the R function to implement the exponential growth. So that will be, we have an input, initial population size x0, and then, uh, we have the 1 times t, which is the growth rate uh, by time unit, and then to the t power. And we can add xt at the last line just to make sure it's going to print out. So this should work. Run this. And for the this assignment, uh, assume the t is discrete. Uh, of the T is discrete, okay. And then we look at the so population x0 equal 1, growth rate 0.1, and the T equal 1. So that will be 1.1. 1 .1. So after one generation, increase by 10%. Uh, so because the compound gro growth at the second generation, it should grow by another 10%. That should be 1.21. Uh, and basically, that's it. They, that shows the, the function seems to be making sense. And then uh, we can do this for uh, t from 1 to 100 generation. Uh, now, to in order to generate that, I actually have to first uh, uh, assign xt as a random vector, as a vector, empty vector. So I just say xt equal 1 to 100. This is just to initiate uh, a vector to collect all the way back. And I then loop over it from the first generation and to the last generation, length of the two. And I loop it over using a uh, index AI. And then I just call this exponential function looping over for every i. And that's the x0, 1, and the growth rate 0.1. And in order to see the result, I also printed the result for every loop. And run this for 100, for 1 to 100. Oh, ah, I forgot to run this, this is the part. Okay, yeah. And the final result is to output this. Uh, the output, I use a function write.csv, xd, and this, remember, all the functions should use a, a, a pair of parentheses. Here the princess that's the left and the, uh, the right one is highlighted here. And file name, I don't want to have the road name, so I say road name RX. So yeah. 